What's up, everybody? Go Burns climbing back upon Mount Soapbox for yet another rant. As with tradition, as long as I or you have something to rant about. By the way, if you do, no matter what game it is, as long as it's a game I cover, like Grand Theft Auto, Mafia 3, etc., feel free and leave it below in the comments section. You can tweet your rants to me, you can private message me via Facebook, or you can email me your rants, goburns at gmail.com. Today's rant is about clothing customization in Mafia 3, or lack thereof. Now, as some of you may have found out in my recap video of Mafia 3 at E3 on Friday, at the very end, I mentioned something about how in one of the Q&As, the uh, developer at Hangar 13, Andy Wilson, well, one of the developers stated this. Well, obviously, they're all kind of uh, period accurate, so authenticity extends all the way throughout the game, and that, that includes kind of the way the characters are dressed as well. In terms of Lincoln himself, um, he kind of costume changes a few times during the during the game, although we don't have um, customization, at least not right now. Um, the, uh, the point of having Lincoln in these different costumes is, you know, we have this curated narrative and there are some specific reasons why we want him to sort of look different throughout the game. And some of it's about, you know, sneaking into places and kind of blending in. And some of it's just about the, the, the point in time that we're seeing him in this story. Obviously, that didn't go over so well with some people in the Mafia 3 community. Now, not everybody has a problem with this. And I just want to say something. It's not at the end of the day, a big deal, but at the same time, it is a big deal because a lot of us Mafia fans were assuming that we would have clothing customization options in Mafia 3 because we did in Mafia 2 for Vito. And to be honest, I feel like this is a step backward for Mafia 3, not having the ability to change Lincoln's attire. I get what Hangar 13 is trying to do, to have Lincoln's clothing change depending on the mission that he's doing. I understand that there was a couple of veto missions in Mafia 2 where he had to wear a specific set of clothing, like when he was in prison. Obviously, he had to wear prison garbs. Whenever he was posing as a janitor, him and Joe had to wear janitor clothing. So I understand that. But for the rest of the game, Vito could wear almost whatever you wanted him to wear, with a few exceptions. And I was kind of hoping that that would not be the case for Mafia 3. And it still may not, because as Andy Wilson pointed out, that's as of right now, which means that Hangar 13 can still change their minds. And that is the point of this rant video, to sway the developers at Hangar 13, like Hayden Blackman, Andy Wilson, and everyone else, to possibly reconsider their decision regarding clothing customization for Lincoln Clay in Mafia 3. Now, we're going to go over both sides here regarding this debate, because there's always two sides to every point of view. But we're going to go through my comments section on a few of my videos where this became kind of a hot topic issue. LANYC started it off by saying, sad news, we are forced to wear army clothes and that stupid haircut. No suits! I'm highly upset with this bad decision hanger 13. Of course, you know, Pop Boys disagrees because obviously Lincoln Clay is technically not in the mob, so why would he be wearing a suit? But my point of view on this is it's a video game, and you're playing as Lincoln Clay, and what Lincoln Clay is is representative on how you, you know, customize him, just like almost any other character. Doesn't matter if it's like uh, Michael, Franklin, or Trevor in uh, Grand Theft Auto V, or a protagonist that you create completely of your own design in Fallout 4, or any other game. Yes, there's a certain story arc to Fallout 4. You can only pick a male or female character, but you get to kind of design what they look like. Now, you obviously can't do that with Lincoln Clay, but there should be certain exceptions when it comes to his uh, hairstyle, his uh, facial hair, as well as his clothing. Now, this is another issue because the 60s was known for various clothing styles. Not just, you know, nice suits, you know, the mobsters could wear, but you could also go with a biker look with uh, jeans and leather jacket, or you could go even with a hippie look with a tie-dye shirt. The point is, we should be able to customize Lincoln Clay's look 
you know, based on how we want him to look in the game of Mafia 3. And I understand both points of view. So, yeah, I, it's a complicated issue. And I, I stand on the side with everybody that doesn't like the fact that Lincoln Clay is not going to be customizable because, like I mentioned, Vito was customizable to a certain degree clothing-wise in Mafia 2. So here's what Vashon said. I'm really hoping that they put customization of clothing in this game because it's really important for me to experience the 60s and the 1960s and have the most outlandish, awesome clothing and I want to wear whatever I want for Lincoln and not make him look generic army fatigue, which looks cool, but Vashon wants to experience the clothing more. So, Hangar 13, I hope you are going to eventually get a hold of this video and read some of these comments from some of the subscribers. Now realize, Pop Boys doesn't feel the same way. He doesn't have a problem with lack of clothing customization. And a certain percentage of the community won't have an issue with it. I mean, as long as the story's good, as long as the gameplay is awesome, you know, that's a side issue to them. But to a lot of other gamers out there, the clothing and facial and hair customization is an issue because we like to customize our characters to obviously various degrees. And of course, continuing, let's see, uh, Noe. He said, I'll be really fucking disappointed. We better be able to customize his hair and clothes. Hey man, where'd you see this? Okay, yeah, I already, yeah, I told him in the, in the uh, comments section like where, because I mean, I didn't want people to think that I was making this up, so that's why I included at the beginning of the rant video that interview done with Andy Wilson, developer over at Hangar 13. So the final comment we're gonna go over today comes from CJ Ware. I'm a little disappointed we can't customize, but there's probably some dope outfits they haven't shown us yet from later on in the game. I think a good ending version would be Clay, you know, bald with a large beard, <laughs> scars, and of course giving him a grizzled and crazy look. You know, the perfect black mob boss. So yeah. A lot of people, I think, really were coming into Mafia 3, including myself, assuming, you know, from what, you know, happened in Mafia 2, the ability to customize Lincoln Clay. Now, I understand Hangar 13's point of view. Like I mentioned, I get that they want to give Lincoln Clay a certain look, a certain style throughout the story. And yes, it will change because we've seen different looks where he has the army fatigues on. We've seen a look where he just has on like a, a regular t-shirt and jeans. We've also seen some other variations of Lincoln Clay's look throughout Mafia 3. And either way, I understand the creative decision made by Hangar 13. Because in the end, if they start having to change every little thing that we complain about, then it would take them forever to finish the game. But at the same time, this isn't uh, gasoline not being included in vehicles in Mafia 3 as opposed to the first two Mafia games. A lot of people don't really have a problem with that because that was kind of sort of a headache for a lot of people driving around Lost Heaven or Empire Bay. All of a sudden, they're out of gas. They're screwed. Now it's not an issue because, A, video games, right? So I hope, Hangar 13, you will listen to some of these comments that I've posted up here that, you know, I didn't go over all of them, I guess. Unfortunately, I'm sorry about that, but I did scroll through them in order to give you an idea of what the pulse is of the Mafia 3 community. But at the end of the day, the decision is entirely yours, Hangar 13. And I don't know if you have enough time between now and October when the game launches on October 7th for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC to make this kind of change, to allow Lincoln Clay to have clothing customization. Because feasibility, you may not have that ability. You may not have that means to do so with the little bit amount of time you have left to uh, finish up the game. So I completely understand that, Hangar 13. But if you do still have time, and if enough of the community are, you know, considering this to be some sort of issue regarding Lincoln Clay and the lack of clothing or facial hair customization, I think it needs to be addressed because... That is another way, as I mentioned already, that players relate to their protagonist. Not only by his background, you know, the fact that he's an orphan, biracial, Vietnam War vet, looking for, you know, a place to, you know, belong. And that can be said about a lot of the gaming community out there, whether you are an orphan or biracial or uh, a war vet from, you know, Iraq or Afghanistan, etc. A lot of those themes tie into the majority of the community out there 
we're, we're all looking for a place that we belong, that in some way we all feel like we're kind of like isolated or alienated from the rest of society. And I think it gives people more of a connection with Lincoln Clay if they can do just a little bit of customization and tweaking regarding his character, whether it's uh, changing up his hairstyle, you know, giving him a nice big afro, or going bald with a beard like C.J. Warrior once, or you know, giving him a nice you know suit to wear like L.A.N.Y.C. desires, or to go like a, a biker or hippie style, or any of the various other awesome clothes that came out in the 1960s. So feel free and chime in below in the comment section. Do you think that Hangar 13 should reconsider not having customization for Lincoln Clay? Or do you think this is really a non-issue for you? Are you more concerned about other things like the gameplay, the story, etc.? Or do you consider clothing customization along with facial customization regarding you know, hair, beard, etc. to be an important part of the Mafia 3 experience?